Hello and welcome to another episode of uh, Player Lock Franchise. Oh my gosh, can't talk. Franchise with Kenny Pickett. Uh, if you are new here, uh, then uh, let me uh, just uh, let you know that, uh, you know, not seeing a lot of uh, videos on YouTube or series, I should say, on YouTube of of people doing a player lock career with an existing player, uh, you know, in the franchise. I see them doing franchises. I see them doing face of the franchises, but nobody really does a player lock. So I decided I wanted to do a player lock, and uh, that's what we got going on here. Kenny Pickett, I did a vote. Let's see who I should play with. Kenny Pickett was the winner. So we have got to make some improvements on the offense, if you saw the last episode, then, you, man, I am sorry that you sat through that. You probably didn't watch the whole thing because it was so bad. But uh, we could not do anything with the ball. Ooh, I almost picked off there. Where did that guy come from? The best we could do is silver now. Um, so... Of all the time in the world, why can't that happen in a real game? That's what I want to know. We couldn't move the ball. Um, couldn't complete a pass. Couldn't run the ball. It was just disgusting. And uh, we're going up against the Buffalo Bills this week, so it's going to be a tough one. Not really sure. I, I don't expect us to win, but I think we could do – I think we could have an upset. Buffalo's defense is really good. We went up against quite a few good defenses so far. The Bills, I'm sorry, not the Bills, um, the Browns, the Jets, uh, and then today we're going up against the Bills. So three defenses that are probably top, you know, top five, top ten in the league, depending. Um, so we'll see how that all shakes out. Uh, we are going up against Stephon Diggs. Luckily, we don't play defense. But he's going to be a top threat. Uh, Tredavious White, also a top threat. And, of course, Josh Allen. They are 2-2, two and two, which is something I did not expect to see. Almost hit the wrong button there. And it is a an away game. So... Oh, man. We've got to put some points on the board, though. We cannot do what we did last week. A familiar stadium to those that have been, uh, you know, following the channel for a while. As you know, we just finished up a face of the franchise with a player, a creative player, Moose McConnell. And his final season in the league, he played with the Buffalo Bills and won a Super Bowl. We don't want that happening here. And I, I tell you, I have the worst headache right now, but I need to get this recorded. I uh, forgot my wallet when I went to work today. So I wasn't able to get lunch. And uh, so if I don't eat uh, in a timely manner, I do get headaches. I did stop on the way home, got some wing stop, got a bunch of boneless wings and some fries. Scarfed a lot of it down. Um, until I was full. So hopefully the headache will go away. We'll see. And, um, I'm ready, man. I'm ready to, I'm ready for the upset win here. We could do this. 68 overall. Really looking forward to him to start, uh, improving. But I don't know if we're going to be able to stop their offense. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how this game goes. Look at that. They're just kind of marching down the field already. Man, Devin Singletary really, really putting in some work here. Big penalty on the play, uh, previous play there. Josh Allen with a rush. 
Look at this. They're just marching down the field, taking about four minutes off the clock so far. We do get a sack, though. Third and 14. Oh, we're going to hold them to a field goal. Our defense is definitely a bend but don't break defense. So they let them march down the field but then stop them uh, to a field goal. Oh, we do get a few yards, six yards on the play. I didn't expect that. Now, are we going to be able to get more yardage? Are we going to be able to run on them? Is that is that going to be the trick to winning this game? Maybe. But if you cut back like that, we are not. I don't understand why you cut back. Doesn't make any, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It's going to give us third and two. Ooh, we almost had a false start. Gets the ball off. Oh, my gosh. What a great play by the tight end. Saving Kenny Pickett. Bad throw because he was getting hit. Let's see if it shows here. Boom, gets hit right when he throws it. And Fryermuth makes the catch and gets past the defender to get us a first down. Thought we were going to end up Um, having an incomplete pass there. Made a wrong read there. Should have went to uh, the running back. And the snap. Oh, see, our... our they got to hold those blocks. We're going to make some adjustments here. Let's be aggressive on the blocking. Let's see what happens if we are aggressive. Be -E aggressive. Third and eight. Gets hit as he throws it again. Unable to complete the pass. I believe that was Vaughn Miller. No, wait. Is Vaughn Miller 40? I think he's 40. I'm not good with numbers. We're able to move down the field a little bit, but we do stall out. <sighs> well, I don't know what to say there. We gotta get that ball off a little bit quicker, quicker. But we had to make the let that play develop, and we're gonna get the ball back. Believe it or not, our defense stops them. We are on the seven yard line though. Makes me a little nervous. I don't think um, Najee Harris has good vision. She doesn't seem to have the vision to find the hole. That's what I feel like here. I don't understand why he cuts it back every time. And here we go, third and six. And Johnson with a big hold. To, well, not hold, but... Great separation, was able to fake out the defender, and Kenny Pickett makes a good throw just over that middle linebacker's head. It's going to uh, first down. That was a good play. Let's see if we can try a slip screen here. We don't have much luck with this. You can break a tackle. Oh, you cannot. That's all we needed right there. We needed to break a tackle. Couldn't do it. It's going to be second and 12. They want us to run the ball. Wow, that was a bad... Why was the accuracy so bad? That's just that's just what you get with a 68 overall, I guess. Because um, he was... 
There was no reason for that bad of an accuracy, to be honest with you. So now we're in the hole, third and 12. You have a little opening there. Can he get the first down? Yes, he does. Right there on the line. I was a little worried about that. I really want us to run this county counterplay. You know what? Look, can we... Oh, man. We're going to switch the counter to the other side. It gets us nowhere. Zentry is injured on the play. Our backup tight end. Second and 10. Bringing a man down into the box. Still have a favorable blocking matchup. Najee, go to the back, the right side of that defender. Please. Oh, my gosh. Makes me want to run. Makes me want to play running back. But that's, uh, that's the downside. You know, that's what makes player lock difficult is you cannot control all the players. That's what I like about it. You have one player that you can control, and you got to make the most out of it because the computer is going to be controlling everything else. There was a slight hole there, but we couldn't hold our block. Second and five. Oh, and we get another bad accuracy throw. No reason to have a bad throw there. That's just what we get for having a rookie 68 overall. We got to rely on Johnson to get us the first down. And we have another offensive player hurt. So our offensive line is already bad. And we're just adding to it by having our starters get hurt here. Slowly but surely working our way down the field. With player lock, you also cannot put players in motion. They're running a cover. They've been running a lot of cover three, I notice. Or at least that's what it seems like. He's just not bouncing it out enough to... I didn't look to see what they ran on that last play. We barely get a first down there. 7 for 11, 66 yards. Kenny Pickett's looking good so far. Finding the easy routes, relying on the running back to get us a few yards on the first two plays. So we have a short yardage third down situation. And we get stopped in the backfield. Oliver with the second tackle of the game. And they had uh they had that play sniffed out. Second and 11 now. And I threw that right to that defender. That should have been intercepted. It's going to give us third and 11. We get the first down. Now we got first and goal. Can we run the ball? I would like the coach to give us like a ISO. We need a lead blocker. Maybe. I don't I don't know. Let's go with a halfback dive. We're on the four-yard line. 
Oh, there's a big hole there. Are we actually going to get in for a touchdown? We do. Pittsburgh scores. Pittsburgh takes the lead against the Buffalo Bills in the second quarter with three, about three and a half minutes left. Still pretty early in the game. But Najee decides to actually run for a decent amount of yards uh, once we get inside the red zone. So he gets four yards on that play and gets it in for a touchdown. Love to see it. Now we just need our defense, the steel curtain, to continue their dominance. We're going to put us up by four. The thing about playing this is it's kind of taking my mind off of the headache. All right, we got a, uh, wow, they started on the 29-yard line. Oh, big sack, fourth and 12. We're going to get the ball back. They went three and out. Bronco switch. And the snap to play. Najee cannot find a hole. I think he gets a couple yards on it, though. We're going to come up to the two-minute one round. I don't think we're going to get this playoff. Yeah, I think we're just going to let it tick down. We have to control the clock. That's the name of the game for us. Coach wants us to run. I, you know what? I think we'll go with it. Oh, does he get third and six? I'm okay with that. Oh, bad accuracy. Oh, man. That's just didn't get it to the right spot. Probably could have went with the curl route. And that's going to be fourth down. We're going to punt it off to him with a minute 25 left. Didn't take off a lot of time off the clock there. Another big sack by TJ Watt. Third and nine with a minute seven left. They do get the first down to Stephon Diggs. He's a hard man to cover. One of the best in the game. And pass knocked away. We're going to get the ball back. 39. You know what? We're not going to do this. This might be a mistake. Uh, gotta, I need to um, lob it. More downfield. Don't really like this. We got guys coming in on us. Wow, I just had to get rid of it. And we're going to have to run the ball. Run the clock out. They uh, they were coming in. I didn't have anybody open on that play. Oh, my God. He gets his hit hard. They're going to call a timeout. We're going to have to punt it off to him. Now, I kind of wish we would have just ran the, clock, ran the ball on the first down. As uh, we're going to have to punt it away, and they have a little bit of time. 19 seconds. I don't know if they have enough time, but I don't know. We'll see. Eight seconds left. And um, they do get some yard. It, they, they get a field goal, putting them down by one. We get the ball to start the second half. Man, that sucks. Okay, we should have ran the clock out. Didn't think we would go three and out there. Probably should have played it safe. Now we know. I think we know next time. Right? I feel like we might get... Oh, man, if you just break that one tackle, we might get turn the... I have it where the clock winds down to 15 seconds when I pick a play. We may could even go down to 13 seconds. We had two guys wide open. I could have went um, 
Claypool or Friar Friarmuth there. Either one of them, really. I really think maybe if we put another score on the board, we might. We might be able to sneak out of here with a victory. Najee with an actual hole to run through. Second and two. They really love the counter plays. Lots of counter plays, the coach. Man, there's nobody up the middle here. We got, they're playing the pass, allowing us to get the first down. We'll take it. I guess it's a first down. Vaughn Miller with one tackle. Oh, wow. 61 just gets destroyed. Right there. And doesn't even give Najee Harris a fighting chance. I mean, that was just, that's embarrassing. So we got second and 13. Get some of that yardage back. Third and seven. Man, now he's hurt? Yeah, you should have been hurt after the last play. Clearly, the way, um, the way you blocked that guy on that draw play. So we got two linemen hurt. Gentry dislocated elbow, more torn labium, Cole, abdominal tear. These guys are going to be out for a while, huh? Man, we have so many injuries. So many injuries. Third and seven. Oh, Claypool, good job, buddy. I was worried I threw that too early, and it was going to be incomplete, but he managed to make a catch. Managed to come down with it. Yeah, one yard. Man, I mean, all they want to do is run the ball, but our offensive line is just, I mean, we don't have time. We just don't have time. I have to. That's going to be holding. It's going to be holding, I bet. Holding. Offense. Okay. I did go aggressive on the blocking, if you remember. Second and 19. Johnson up the middle with the completion. That's going to get all those yardage back. Still have nine yards to go. And, oh, my gosh, Stetson, what are you doing, dude? I was hoping to hit him before right at the cut, but it's just I can't get the timing down right. Always throw it a little too late. So we're going to kick a field goal. Puts us up by four. Jameson Crowder with a return there. Injury on the play. It's one of our, our left end. Pass drop, third and seven. Fourth and four. There we go. We're going to get the ball back. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Look at this, guys. What happened? I had no time. No time to throw it right there. Oh my gosh, guys. Can we block somebody, please? I'm like trying to throw the ball super quick.
Claypool with a great catch going to a, an inaccurate throw. Makes the adjustment, makes the catch, gives us a first down. Saves us from punting out of our own end zone. Farmuth in motion. Harris follows his block. He's going to get yeah, four yards. <coughs> Excuse me, four yards on the play. Bad snap on the draw. Never works, man. Never works, does it? Third and seven. Oh my gosh, he's so wide open, just make a good throw. Oh boy, okay. His accuracy, man. I, I don't know how we, I don't know how the upgrades work in this this mode versus uh, face of the franchise, but man, I hope we can upgrade accuracy because I think that's his biggest weakness right now. Luckily, our defense is, they showed up, man. They showed up. Harris, oh, gets up the middle, gets pretty good gain. Ooh, Greg Rousseau is hurt on the play. Second and three. He's gonna leave the field with a wrist injury. Although it's probably not a wrist injury. And, oh, can he fall forward for the first? No, third and one. And we're going to have to take this into the fourth quarter. They have a lot of passing yards. They have a lot more yardage than we do. We're barely moving the ball. Third and one. Oh, no! You can't have that, man. Fourth and one. Do we? Should we run it right there? Let me know in the comments down below. Should I have run it on that play, on that on that third and one? I don't know, man. I felt like the pass play was the right play, but maybe I was wrong. Second and six. Big penalty on the offense by Mitch Morris, the center. They get most of that back. Third and six. Incomplete pass. We're going to get the ball back, and we should get it in fairly decent field position here. On a 27-yard line. Not... Um, as good as I would have liked. I feel like I have to throw the ball way too quick as uh, we just don't have the protection that we need. Najee just runs right into the back of his blockers every time. Doesn't allow... He doesn't give himself an opportunity. Gets the ball off. Wide open is Claypool. And although the coaches want us to run the ball, it's not working out for us. We're passing the ball much better. But at the same time, I yeah, we probably need to run some play action, don't you think? I think that's the trick. I got to find some play action. There's a hole. Oh, and it closes up way too quickly. Our linemen just can't hold their block. They could hold their block just like a second longer. Friermuth wide open. Gets the first down on the completion. 
And now we're really moving the chains here. Kenny Pickett looking good today. Kind of aim that towards the sideline. I don't know if I really needed to. They're overloading that side. I'm thinking a play action boot. Let's see what kind of legs. Throws it. Had to throw it quick. He had three bodies on him. Does get the completion. He may throw better. He might be more accurate on the run than he is just standing back in the pocket. What a beautiful pass to Friermuth. That's going to give us a second and two. We cannot afford to make any mistakes, though. Johnson wide open. I don't know what you call that route. It's almost like an out route, but then they stop. I'm sure it has a name. And we're working our way down the field. We may be able to put this game away right here if we could score. Bad snap on the draw. Harris makes a... Man. Breaks a tackle. He just cannot... Second and eight. Let's let our linemen call out their blocks. Snap. They're getting a good push, but then they just can't hold their blocks long enough. You know what I mean? We got third and six. Pickens, under pressure, bad pass. Bring up fourth now. We're going to have to settle for another field goal. Not what we wanted at all. Dang it. Had the man open. What's going on? Why? Why, coach? Why do you not kick a field goal right there? Oh, my God. That's going to cost us the game, isn't it? It was second and 13, third and nine. And they get the first down. Big penalty, first and 20, holding on the offense. Second and 14 after a six-yard reception. Third and four. What's going on here? Still third and four. Incomplete pass. We're going to get the ball back. We're going to get the ball back with less than two minutes left in the game. I still don't think Mike Tomlin made the right call back there. I still think we kicked the field goal. They're going to call all three of their timeouts. We got to get a first down. We really, really need a first down. Second and nine. We rumble forward. We get four yards on the play. Interesting to see what the coach wants to do here. He wants to pass the ball on third and five. Go-to receiver, Deontay Johnson drops the pass. Could have put the game away right there. But no, he drops it. And coach, you better kick a field goal this time. And he does. Puts us up by seven. Still a lot of time left on the clock, though. Makes me nervous. Big penalty on the offense. That's going to push them back. But they get a 25-yard reception to Gabe Davis. Followed by an eight-yard loss on a sack. Second and 18. Third and nine after a nine-yard reception to Crowder. And they get the first down. 14-yard reception. Incomplete pass. Second and 10. Oh, boy, I'm nervous. And here we go. This is what I'm talking about. They're going to drive it all the way down. they got 10 seconds left. Crap, it's such bull crap. Oh my gosh, I can't, I uh, don't understand it. 
We're going to have to go into overtime. I blame the coach for not kicking a field goal when we had a chance. Oh my gosh. I... We stopped them the whole game, except for the final two minutes. Final minute and a half, actually. Tails never fails. It's heads. We It fails. Tails always fails. Uh, we're going to defend the... I don't remember. Uh, left. Okay. I think we're defending the wrong way. Oh, man. All right. We need a big stop by the defense in overtime. So we got uh, – they're just, they're just going to throw the ball down the field. It looks like big reception. Second and 10 on an incomplete pass. Three Four-yard rush, third and six. Big penalty on us. Makes it a third and one. Five-yard penalty, actually. They get a first down off a two-yard rush. Incomplete pass again. Second and 10. Oh, gosh, man. There's an injury timeout. Another sack. Second and 19. Third and six on a 14-yard reception. They're going to drive down and score a touchdown. Didn't even give us a chance to get the ball. Now, I have to say, I think i got to blame Mike Tomlin on this. You know, I think he needs to kick a field goal. I don't understand why he went for it a fourth down. And I, you can't blame, uh, you know, we can't really blame Kenny Pickett on this one. I felt like Kenny Pickett played a pretty good game. No interceptions, no touchdowns, though. Uh, low scoring game. You, and had the lead most of the game. I do think Mike Tomlin's got to kick the um, kick the field goal. I mean, we don't know how that plays out. I would. I, I'm, I'm basing that off of. I guess it doesn't matter because we kick a field goal the next drive. Deontay Johnson's got to catch that third and five ball that was thrown to him. I mean, it was right in his hands. He's got to catch that. Trubisky, 0 for 1. That was that fourth down that we went for it instead of kicking a field goal. So I don't know, man. I don't know what the right answer is, to be honest with you. So 17 for 33, 189 yards, 51% completion. No touchdowns, no interceptions. Average 5.7 yards a carry. Longest was 25 yards. Running the ball, Najee Harris is struggling, man. He's not. He has not been able to get a lot of yardage. Now, I really think it comes down to the offensive line. I just they're just not very good. Um, Thirty attempts, eighty-seven yards, averaging uh, just under three yards to carry. One touchdown. Longest carry was eight yards. That's we gotta have some. We gotta have something better than that. Um, let's see. Can we look at? No, we cannot look at uh, injuries. So, nonetheless, all right, guys. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, I'd like to get 10 likes on this video. 10 likes. That's what our goal is for this video. And uh, if you enjoy it, hey, stick around for the next episode. Until then, I hope you all have a good one. Peace. Peace.